They know I'm not happy with them. They know I'm not happy at all. And frankly, uh, I don't want to set the world necessarily to thinking too much about it right now, but there's been no country anywhere at any time that's ripped us off like China has. We lose billions and billions of dollars for years and years, decades, in dealing with China. We get nothing from China other than loss, other than giving our money, and they take that money and they build their military. And so when you mention the word decouple, it's, uh, it's an interesting word. So we lose billions of dollars, and if we didn't do business with them, we wouldn't lose billions of dollars. It's called decoupling, so you'll start thinking about it. You'll start thinking. In 2001, Biden said the United States welcomes the emergence of a prosperous, integrated China on the global stage because we expect this is going to be a China that plays by the rules. They didn't play by the rules. They didn't play by the rules. And frankly, they cheated. Okay, they cheated. I'll say it. What difference is it? I feel much differently. I feel I've made a great trade deal with China. Great. And they're buying. You know why they're buying? Because they know I'm not happy. That's why they're buying. When well, we're being ripped off by countries, but nobody's even close to China. Biden cheered China's rise as a great power because great powers adhere to international norms in the areas of non-proliferation, human rights, and trade. Well, they didn't. China's been very bad, on top of which we had the China plague sent to us. And other viruses, nothing near this area, but the swan. We had other viruses sent in over the years that came from China. I wonder why. If Biden wins, China wins because China will own this country. Under my administration, we will make America into the manufacturing superpower of the world and will end our reliance on China once and for all. Whether it's decoupling or putting in massive tariffs like I've been doing already, we're going to end our reliance on China because we can't rely on China. We'll manufacture our critical medical supplies in the United States. We'll create Made in America tax credits and bring our jobs back from China to the United States and we'll impose tariffs on companies that desert America to create jobs in China and other countries. We'll prohibit federal contracts from companies that outsource to China and we'll hold China accountable for allowing the virus to spread around the world. Now you can understand why China would much rather see Sleepy Joe than Donald Trump. But as long as I'm president, we will never waver in our undying loyalty to the American worker and to our country as a whole.